Okay, have you started that spring cleaning yet? Uh, have you? Well, there's one thing you should add to your list, like you need that, but it's finances. Yeah, not just the physical house, but get into your finances. Brad Huffman is a certified financial planner. He's here to give us a little financial tune-up this morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Brad. Good morning. Our piggy bank yes. needs to be full. It, and it is. This one is nice and heavy, Thank you. too. Thank that's, you. that's how you should like your that's piggy bank. That's my life savings. That so. is Sean's Back entire off. retirement yeah, fund. Okay. Well, it's worth the guards. I thought maybe there'd be some protection <laughs> around it, so I don't, okay. Let's talk about the retirement. Yeah, basically, you know, one of the things that you should really focus on is check your retirement levels. Much like checking, you know, making sure the house is clean come springtime, make sure oil is okay, make sure your retirement plans are good. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're putting in enough. If you've got a 401k, 403b, maybe it's time to up the levels. Huh. You can put a pretty healthy 17,500 a year into a plan if you're under 50. If you're 50 or older, it's up to 23,000, so it's a great vehicle to use. Maybe you want to have, or instead of, you can use an IRA, 5,500 a year, 6,500 if you're 50 or older. Mm -hmm. So again, check those levels, always more, better. Yeah, yeah. So make sure you're doing enough. But and always take advantage of it if your employer will kick absolutely. in. Absolutely. If you're going to get free money, it's free money. Right. Do I need to say any more? It's a great vehicle. Uh, the other thing to consider is not just what you put into it, but what's in it already. Do you need to change the risk? Is mm. it too risky or not risky enough? Do you need to rebalance? Stocks have done really well. Maybe you want to curb that a little bit and change your risk profile. So again, you don't need to look at it every week, every month, you know, maybe a few times a year. Okay. Just take a peek. What percentage do they say people need for retirement? My belief is you need anywhere from 10 to 20% of your gross income going into retirement. Okay. So 10 to 20. Perfect. Credit cards are always a problem yes. because we all end up racking up some serious debt. Exactly. Some of these, before you even know it, you've maxed it yes. out. Mm -hmm. And now, how do you pay it off? Well, you have to really interrogate your credit cards. If you have a card balance, and, and I, I hope no one does, but we do all know it happens, mm -hmm. sure. is you really want to see, do you have the right one? Do you have the best one for you? And when it comes to credit cards, interest rates are everything. Lower, better. So you really want to see if maybe you can find another card for you, lower the rate. Now, the one thing you need to watch out for is there's balance transfer fees. So when you move from card A to card B, you're going to get hit with a fee, maybe 3 or 4% of the balance. Oh, wow. you got to make sure that makes sense yeah, for you. Yeah. Right. don't want to negate the value of making the change. So take a look at that. And then, of course, you know, rule number one, if you have a credit card balance, always pay more than the minimum. Good have news. to do that right. with the credit cards. Good Absolutely. News. So how much did you say you weigh, Joe? Yeah. I'm looking at your, your, your license right here. <laughs> We have electronics sitting yes. here. This is all about checking your bills. Yes. Yeah. Look under the hood of your expenses. See what you're actually spending money on. These are a couple of the ones that I think all of us have. You know, you may spend 100 a month on your cell phone, 150 on your cable bundle. Or if you've got a family plan, it's absolutely. More than that. Yeah. Take a look. Do you? Are you using it? Most of us aren't fully using these services. Maybe you can lower the services. Maybe you can call and ask them to change it. You go through and just tear it apart. And again, you don't need to do it every week. Maybe. Four times a year, you pull out a bank statement, you pull out a credit card statement. What am I spending money on? Maybe I've got that gym membership. Now it's April. I haven't gone once. Guess what? Yeah. Try to get rid of it if you can. So just tear it up. If you can save 50 a month, 100 a month, 200 a month, whatever it is, it's a good thing. That's but again, you have to do it with regularity. That's am I using idea. 60 gigs a month or can I knock my data plan exactly. down? Yeah. That kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Depends on now, how many of those videos you're downloading at work. We so. still have lots of medical expenses every yes. year. Yep. And there's a great vehicle. The FSA, the Flexible Spending Account, mm -hmm. a lot of employers will offer this. Basically, you can take pre-tax dollars, shove it into this special account, mm -hmm. pay for medical costs, prescriptions, doctor co-pays, uh, and also dependent care. So if you have hmm. children in daycare, this is a great way. You could possibly save up to a third using this vehicle because really? you're using pre tax dollars. Right. So it goes right into the account before yep. it shows up in your checking before account Uncle that Sam way. Gets his piece. Yep. Right. So it's great. not everything though is available on this. Right. Yeah. It's it's not as loosey goosey as it used to be. You can't just walk in the pharmacy and grab a bunch of stuff. You do have to have a prescription, for example, with crutches. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously with prescriptions and anything that the doctor prescribes, it's great. Doctor co pays. So it's a wonderful vehicle. I have a lot of daycare expenses, so it's a great vehicle. Mm -hmm. The one negative is it's a use it or lose it. So right. you have to use it throughout the year. Not a problem. Most of us can with some regularity predict what we think we're going to spend in a year, but take advantage. Talking about saving hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a year by using the special Great account. Great tips. Absolutely. Really. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thanks, it's pleasure. Brad. Come wash windows at my house well, too. Maybe later. Yeah, I got to change my outfit. So. <laughs> Thank you. My outfit. <laughs> Brad is headed over to our social media cafe today, as a matter of fact, so he'll be answering your financial questions. Just visit Good Day Columbus Facebook page and join in the conversation. Anything you may have that he brought to mind right now, head over there and talk to Brad.